Do you see the price of gas back there? You probably can't. This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. Today I wanted to talk about more price increases, stuff going up. Have you noticed it? Uh, does it affect you? Doesn't affect you? I've talked to some people and they're screaming and crying and other people are, they don't, it doesn't affect them. The price of gas in New Jersey now is about $4 a gallon. Uh, down the street from us, it went up to like 390 something. We went shopping today and we saw uh, the one gas station was 399, the other one was 410 a gallon. Some stuff that we buy has gone up, like every year stuff goes up as usual, you know. But the last year and a half, two years, the prices have increased like crazy on a lot of stuff. Some stuff we buy went up like five cents, 20 cents, like normal. But some stuff we buy, the pig food we buy was $16 a bag. Then it was 18, then it was 20, 22, 24. We bought pig food, it's a 50 pound, 40 or 50 pound bag, is $36 now. And we go through a bag and a half to two bags a month. I can't imagine having a farm. You know, these people that have cattle, sheep, horses, chickens, goats, I don't know how they do it. And you know, talk, I don't know how you can still buy eggs. Eggs are still pretty cheap. The gas, I looked, I, when I bought my truck a year and a half ago, gas was 215 to 240 30 something I think a gallon I was paying 40 to 50 bucks to fill up my truck if I was running real low and I try and keep it around a half a tank you know in case shit hits the fan or something you got to go somewhere if there's a power outage and the gas stations closed because they don't have power at least I'm not stuck I got you know at least a half a tank of gas to get somewhere it's been getting low we've been running it almost empty you know until we get paid again and it's about a hundred dollars to fill my truck up now and you know my wife still goes to work it's I mean it's killing us and we have a family of four and everything most everything not everything most of the stuff we get has gone up a lot a couple months ago I bought front tires for my truck and because of the shortages and stuff like that the tires are high I got a price about a month later I went to get the tires they were more expensive so I only had the money to get the two front tires. My back ones had good tread, but they're dry rot. Got to put air in them a couple of days, every couple of days. These tires were like 220 or 225 a piece. It was like 500 bucks for two tires. So the price, when I went to get the tires for the back the other day, the tires went up like $85 a piece. So I ended up getting a different brand, a lower, you know, a non-brand, which I think the other ones I got were a non-brand, you know, no no big name or nothing. Uh, the, I need front-end work. You got a price. The truck needs so much freaking work. Some stuff I do, some stuff I can't do. But you get a quote, you get a price, and then when you go to take it there, well, you should have came last week because now it's, you know, another $800. Everything's gone up. How is this affecting you? Um, like... Just to get out, we would go shopping like every week and a half or something. We would go heading towards the shore. Figure we'd do some shopping, hit the wildlife drive. We're not going to be doing that anymore. We're going to hit the local stores and come home. The gas is just too expensive to do. Um, tomorrow is the New Jersey uh, truckers convoy from North Jersey going down south I'm going to stop down here by New Egypt Speedway and then Sunday they're going to be uh, at Salem County's fairground I was thinking about going to the Salem County fairground at the end they got all kinds of stuff going on there sa Sunday but it's too far it's like an hour and a half two hour ride the price of gas is just too much too much
too much to do. But they're having the one tomorrow, tomorrow night, like six o'clock or something in New Egypt. And I think we're gonna take a ride there and support that. I mean, you really should be supporting your truckers through this whole thing. If nothing else, the truckers you should be supporting. Without them, nothing's moving. You're not getting medical supplies. And you're not getting gasoline. You know, without that, you order stuff, you know, online from Amazon or FedEx or whatever. Without the gas, without the truckers, you're not getting that stuff. So, uh, we were talking about getting chickens. Like last year and the year before, we haven't done it yet. Some people feed the chickens, you know, table scraps, leftovers. Now, uh, here come some turkeys in the backyard. Hey, girl. And a friend of mine was feeding his chickens, like, all organics feed. I don't know how much that was. But some people are saying, you know, you can get five, six chickens to start out. The other people are saying, if you're going to get chickens, you start out with 20 or 30 minimum. Well... I mean, I've looked into it and everybody says something different. So, what do you think about getting chickens? Is Do you have chickens? How many do you have? I mean, we have a family of four. We go through eggs like crazy. And with the price of everything going up, is it worth, is it cost effective to have chickens? Uh, the price of gas, people were talking about we should open up uh, the the pipelines we should be drilling more we I saw a thing with Alaska has so much oil in reserve we could be drilling for the next 50 years and not run out of fuel I mean is that a good thing is that a bad thing I don't know people talking about boycotting uh, Russia not buying Russian vodka that's not going to do anything Russia doesn't give a shit you're not buying it from the Russian government you're buying it from businesses People saying, oh, well, we're just going to boycott, stop, we're going to stop buying gas. How are you going to stop buying gas? And that, you know, if the whole country didn't buy gas for a month, it wouldn't do anything. Russia doesn't give a shit. The U.S. already bought it, so you're not going to hurt, you're just going to hurt local businesses and stuff. So, all these sanctions they put on these different things, I don't think they really help. They don't. They just hurt other businesses, in my opinion. I don't know much about all that stuff. You know, I think it'd be a good idea to open a pipeline, but I didn't look into it. I don't know why it shut down. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, drilling. I think we should do more drilling. But then I hear bad stuff about fracking. That one town where, you know, the, they turn the water spigot on and flames shoot out of it. So that's not a good thing. I don't think we should be doing that. But I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Should we be drilling and how come we're not? Just so much stuff, man. We're not doing as much stuff as we used to. We don't go out as well. We won't be going out as much as we used to. Uh, I saw in, is it Oregon? Their gas went up over $6 a gallon already. That's crazy. And, you know, how soon is it going to come down? Is it going to come down? Are these prices where it's going to stay? Um, I don't know. These are just questions I'm putting out there. People are like, oh, it's going to get worse. It's never coming down. Other people are like, oh, you know, give it six months and it'll, you know, go down to $2 again. I don't know. I don't want to be spreading fear porn and uh, stock up. I'm not going to say stock up now and get prepared because with the prices of everything, if it does come down, you're going to, have to pay two times more than what, you sh what you're going to be paying in six months from now. So, <laughs> stock up, be prepared. You should be prepared already. Uh, how is this affecting you? Or is it not affecting you? I tried making two videos the last couple days. And I went to edit them, and the new camera that I had takes decent pictures. The video was so-so. Audio, you can't really hear it in the speaker. And just a little bit of wind, you couldn't hear anything. So that was a waste. But 
there's just so much stuff going on. People driving, people not paying attention everywhere I go. A month and a half ago, somebody drove through a stop sign. There's like no intersections out here. Somebody drove through the, the one intersection we do have and drove through our firehouse. Another guy went around a bend a couple weeks ago, killed a guy on a motorcycle, ran him into the guardrail. Signs everywhere, busted up. I don't know what the hell's going on with people. There was some more things I wanted to talk about, and uh, of course I always either put it on my phone, I forgot my phone, I printed stuff out on a piece of paper, I left it in my truck. Did that three times. So. Uh, what can we do to stop it? Is there anything? Is, it, is this going to end? Is it going to get worse? Are prices going to come down? Or is this it? You know, let me know in the comments what you think. And this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.